Still this, um, this initial childhood feeling of freedom, being always able to do whatever I want to do all the time. Because when I'm skating and when I have skates on my feet, it's, it's my, all my rules. And now I'm 32 and I've been skating for close to 22, 23 years now. And it's the same thing my way to be completely free with everything. Yeah. So uh, one of my favorite things to do on skates is hang on to vehicles on the street. <laughs> I'm the skate right now. My friends that I grew up with, the idea that they would meet a dozen people from around the world that they're like best friends with, that doesn't happen. No one has that. 
sort of opportunity. So I think that's so special that I don't want to pass that up. supposed to be In Taipei, I feel like we get kicked out of damn near every single spot. You never knew, rolling the dice with every spot, you never weren't sure if you know, security was going to be cool with it. or. Should I try anyway and see? <laughs> Sometimes even the police were even okay with it, like negotiate with them. Multiple times we got extra time to land the tricks. Way more than any tour I've, I've seen that I've been on, we've had to leave tricks. I can't imagine how many tricks we would have right now if we didn't have to walk away. That's part of the game, you know?
going five minutes on this spot, okay? How many was it for you, Richie? Two or three? <laughs> I'm really up there, huh? <laughs> yeah, you have to catch up a bit, but... <laughs> it's kind of weird how everyone can just handle it. Like, every day for three weeks, 12 hours with skates on, going 20 kilometers a day, doing a couple stunts each every day, and waking up the next day and doing it again, you know? And, and it's not like we went to bed early or something. We come home and have a few beer and stay up late, joking around, rapping, maybe exploring the streets again. And we're back live again on Instagram. What are you doing? It's almost like the group just creates some sort of like extra energy. Like a, everyone just gets this boost of energy. I don't know where it comes from. Not impressed. <laughs> Yeah, should we get some for the boys too? Yeah. Shishi. Not necessarily out there to impress anyone. I'm skating for so long, but it's 
it's very re rewarding still to this day. Like, you know, putting yourself through something, whether it's mentally or physically, and uh, succeeding in the end, it's, you're, I'm, I guess I'm kind of addicted to that feeling, you know? That's the wild thing, is like you can see somebody try a trick like a hundred times and you know, fall and eat shit, but you can't be inside someone's mind and realize what mental anguish they're going through. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to be without. Makes no difference who you are or what color Getting down all three, unfortunately, you know, I wasn't successful, and you could obviously see how beaten and exhausted I was, but a lot of it's to do up here, and yeah, it takes its toll. I'm talking about freedom. I'm talking about freedom, yeah. I'm talking about freedom. I'm talking about freedom, y'all. The idea of just imagining something that seems impossible and then doing it, I guess I just love being in that zone where reality kind of bends and the impossible is possible. When you see how free the birds fly in the sky, you're going to have to say my own oh mind. And then seeing my friends do things that I could never believe would happen, doing it myself, and we all do it together, you know, bleeding and conquering our fears. It's hard to pass up, I guess. We're probably just adrenaline drug addicts if you break it down. Makes no difference who you are. Or what color. The main thing is not wasting anybody's time, you know. I'm here to be with the crew and, you know, try to get the best stuff that I can in my eyes. If people like it, kick ass. If they don't, it's all right. You can still skate. I'm talking about freedom, y'all. I'm talking about freedom. I'm talking about freedom. I'm talking about freedom. Freedom to do what I choose to do. Come on. Give me some freedom. Yo, he grinding the shit. Somebody ice that man. <laughs>
Last night was a trip to me because I was just looking around and like they were so happy to have us here. Yeah, the locals were great. They were always sort of taking our antics and shenanigans with like a good attitude. It's the beat, you just have to rap. Taiwan style sake. Sake? Yeah. You good, good. <laughs> the Taiwanese are incredibly gracious and they have done so much to help us throughout this tour. I'm very much honored, like they really, really went out of their way to make sure that everything was taken care of. I had no idea what Taiwan was. So to get this sort of welcome is just, it's gonna stick with me forever. I'm gonna come back to Taiwan whenever I can. Fuck, man. Oh, on the board. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> How bad? I broke it. No way. You do a Get it, do Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not so sure that we would have the same types of experiences if we were like a Red Bull team or something. It'd be nice to stay in a hotel on the hundredth floor or something, but then you're not roughing it with the locals and I kind of just cherish how raw it is right now. Like, what are we doing it for? There's not much sort of profit or gain from it except your personal satisfaction or those moments of glory or whatever, you know, conquering your fears and stuff. I think this tight-knit group of people still genuinely believe in this world. They believe that this is something, like, worth sharing with people, worth showing to the public. It's worth putting your whole life into it.
because we're all friends. I already sabotaged his skates. That is my neck. Wait to be a man? Yeah. Sorry. Hello. I'm Josh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Golden Knife. Golden Knife. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> King Krills I've grinded in my life. Uh, I cannot give you a number, but I can tell you that there's not enough King Krills. I'll continue grinding them until I can't stand up anymore. Get it out! 